right guys hey what's up so I am going to make I'm making another video here to revisit the last one that I made about how to make MKV files uh, there are a couple people uh, in the comment section um, that seem to be having problems with it um, in particular they say that when they convert the movie onto an MKV file the movie is not showing in 3d on the 4x VR app uh, which is the media player for the MetaQuest 3 so first thing I want to get out of the way is and I'm, I'm not trying to insult anybody's intelligence here I'm simply going to state this because I have a personal friend who saw the video on my channel and was inspired to do this and he also had the same problem but he <laughs> What he was doing was he was actually ripping a regular Blu-ray thinking that it would create a 3D file. And I just want to make sure that I was clear uh, on the last video that, that that's not what this is. This is ripping a 3D Blu-ray to an MKV file. So if there's anybody out there that's, that's uh, putting a regular Blu-ray disc in, expecting it to convert it into a 3D file, that will not happen. So this is for regular 3D Blu-rays. So I've already loaded up a disc in here. I have Disney Pixar's up. And it's already loaded it. It's already decrypted it. And the reason why I chose the Pixar movie is because, as you can see here, there are a lot of files, right? Sometimes we get lucky, and the disc that you load up will only have one like 30 something gigabyte file and that makes it a lot easier but sometimes we get discs like this where there are a lot okay so as you can see there are a lot here that aren't even a full gigabyte we've got 525 megabytes uh, 2.5 gigabytes we have this one here it's a little deceiving it says 16.7 gigabytes but if you look closely it says there's only one chapter so it's not going to be that one um, we have some two gigabytes here, so let's go ahead and just uncheck all of these. We do, do not need those. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's uncheck all those. So now we're left with these three files down here at the bottom, right? There's a, they all three of them say 35 chapters. So which one is it? Well, the one on top here is 31.6 gigabytes. And then these two down here are slightly bigger. So we're going to uncheck the one that's 31.6. Now if you're faced with two identical looking files here, always pick the one on top. That's just what I do. And I have done this with my entire collection now, which I think I have like 300 or more 3D Blu-rays, and it works every time. So uncheck the bottom one and just stick with the first one here. And then you're going to double click on it. And as I mentioned in my previous video, this was the mistake that I made last time. I was having the same problem that, that some of you guys say you have, where it only came up as a, a 2D video file. This is what I was doing wrong. So what I had to do was check this box here. So let me, let me, just, let me just close this again. All right, so the first time I did this, I just left it checked like that, and then I just converted it to an MKV file, right? Well, what I had to do in order to get the 3D version of it was I had to double click this, and you'll see here, there's another video file. It'll say M MPEG4 MVC high at L4.1 stereo high at L4.1. That's what you want to check. You still want this to be checked, but you have to make sure that this is also checked. It will never be checked on its own. So every time you have to double click on it to expand it and click that extra video box. And if you want, you can click this attachment JPEG here. I like to do that too. You don't have to, but I like to, to do that because then uh, when you do transfer the movie to a thumb drive or to your quest, it'll have a nice little JPEG image of the movie uh, to go along with the title. And I just think it looks cool. 
So yeah, that is all you have to do. And then, of course, let's see here. Ah, dang. I can't really click on this because it's... Shoot. Well, that's annoying. Um, uh, how do I do this? So I've got this record icon for my vid feed that's like covering the Dropbox that I'm supposed to click on. Let me see if I can fix that. All right, well, basically, you see here where it says output folder, you want to select a destination for your MKV file. I have mine set to uh, my PC downloads. And then once I select that, I just hit the make MKV button here and it does its work and that's it. Um, yeah, so there, there should be no other reason why it wouldn't work. Um, like I said, I learned how to do this from a Reddit post, I believe, actually. Uh, I, I learned a little bit of it from one of the Facebook groups I'm in, um, but then the rest I just learned from a Reddit post. Um, and I would say this is probably the best breakdown that I can, I can get for you here. Um, this is the simplest way to do it. I will put in another disc right now just to, you know, because some of these discs are different. Um, like I said, some of them have a bunch of files. Some of them only have like one or two. So let's see what another one looks like. The Pixar movies are known for having a, uh, a bunch of files. Let's put in, I'm going to pop in Transformers Age of Extinction here see what that looks like all right all right I loaded up I just put the disk in by the way sorry for the quality of the mic audio I don't really have a professional mic for doing stuff like this so it might sound a bit choppy here we go so it's loaded up we're gonna click on it it's gonna take a few seconds, maybe 30 seconds here to decrypt it and process it. And after you do this and you load it up onto your quest with the 4XVR app, it should just play it in 3D automatically. It, it auto detects that stuff. I never had to mess with any of the settings on my 4XVR app. It just, it, detected it immediately um, and let's see here yeah okay so see we got lucky with this one so transformers age of extinction 3d only has one file to expand it's the it's 42.7 gigabytes and but even so with just one file you still have to double click it and as you can see here mpeg4 mbc high at l4.1 forward slash stereo high at l4.1 that is the extra video box that you want to check and then you can check the jpeg if you want and then come over here to output folder select your destination like i said mine is on uh, my computer downloads file and then once you select your your destination you click the make MKV button and it'll do it for you. So yeah, that's it. Um, and I hope that helps. I hope it works for you. Um, I am not the most computer savvy person. I was like super worried that I wouldn't be able to figure this out. And I was discouraged at first because like I said, I, uh, I made the mistake of not checking this extra video box and I spent like an hour and a half ripping this file and then transferred it to my quest and I'm like, oh, come on, you got to be kidding me. What did I do wrong? But I went back into a Reddit forum and saw what people were saying that you just have to click this box here. And uh, yeah, and that did it for me. But uh, yeah, so it's just trial and error. Don't be discouraged. You'll you'll figure it out at some point. Um, and uh, like I said, if you come across a disk that has a bunch of files, uncheck all the really small files that say like one chapter that are only like, you know, 500 megabytes. And 
if it's left with like three more files, like say one that's 33.5 gigabytes and then two more that are 33.8 gigabytes, you want the bigger file. So get rid of the smallest file, 33.5 gigabytes, and then out of the two that are 33.8 gigabytes, um, click the top one. That's the one you'll want, just like I showed you at the beginning of this video with the Pixar Up uh, disc. All right, guys, um, hopefully that helped. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section, and let's keep 3D alive. All right, bye.